What's up, everybody? Mark Galloway here. Happy New Year. Yeah, by the time this is uploaded, it's about a few days after, but yeah, I was just waiting on a few things. But anyways, my, my first video for the new year, I want to show you all my post-Christmas gifts. Now, granted, I do have one last one on the way, and I'm going to go ahead and spoil it because basically it's a truck that I already have technically, but it's another version. Uh, one of the other trucks I got loose is the Stormtrooper. The Hot Wheels Monster Truck Stormtrooper from the Duel with Darth Vader, which is the clean version. So, I basically do have that, but the one that I got is the Battle Damage, which is basically the only one you can get singles-wise. But, yeah, I'm still waiting on it, and I've got to get it for a while. But, other than that, I have the rest of my post-Christmas gifts that I want to show you. So, I'm going to go ahead and push this camera back just a little bit. Tilt this camera just a little bit. And now... My post-Christmas gifts. Now, I'm just going to be grabbing them randomly. So, right here we have the wheelies, a Volkswagen Beetle from Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I do have a couple of these in, like, about two, three different designs. But, honestly, I really like this design. Um, I, re I really like how, it's a, how it has, a, like, a racing theme to it. The checkered flag and the 24 right there. Honestly, I just think this is a really good-looking Volkswagen design. So, nice one. Right here, we have Batman. Yeah, we have the old Batman mobile from the 1980s, 1970s, one of those times. Um, it's really cool to see that the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks is picking up on DC now, too. And um, it's really nice that we have the old style Batmobile right here on the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks line. Oh, um,. I was going to show you the racing one. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and show it right now. Um, so, yeah, there's the details of the Beetle. But now here's the design of the Batman right here. The crash attack is just like, you know, pow, bam, slam. You know, the fighting fighting effects, crime fighter, city, uh, uh, type truck type city. The electric Bigfoot's even back there. And so yeah, but yeah, this is this is really this is a one sick looking truck. And this one, we have Grease Trap, the last truck from series number thirty four that I needed. One of them actually. It's a really, it's a really cool looking truck. How it's diner themed has a how's a, how it has a burger. I, it's a really good looking truck. I I, I like it. Next up, we have Series 33 Avenger. And it's really, really good looking. Really nice looking truck. I just, this is really good. Really good. Overall, yeah, it's, it's awesome. The Series 33 Avenger. And now, most of it is from... Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I, I know I didn't really say anything about Avenger, but it's really nice. It's really nice from 33. We have Night Shifter. I did. I do already have the old design of it, but this, this design, the gold and the black, the mysterious vibe to this truck, it's really badass. I, I like it. And this is the details on the back about it. Uh, it might be a little bit, might be a little bit bent up. I think, I think I'll be able to fix it. Maybe I'll open this up actually just off camera. Just so maybe I'll readjust it, but it's really, it's a really nice looking truck right here. Uh, the, the truck's already getting loose, but we have Myers Manx. Myers Manx, uh, like it has, um, it has, I don't know, uh, but it's a really n unique looking truck with the classic old buggy design with the dragster like wheels and such. It's a really unique looking truck. I like it. And here is the details on the back about this one. It has a really strange interior. There's like nothing in there. 
uh, the details. I wasn't sure if you saw that, but yeah, there you go. Next up, we have the Mandalorian from Star Wars. Pretty cool. I like how the I, I do like the colors. It almost looks like mud of some sorts. And here is the details of it. Like it. And we have another stormtrooper. We do have one stormtrooper-like truck, though. This is the the Imperial Shock Trooper. It's like a red velvet cake with all the chassis. I think it's yeah. This is like red velvet like color. The body design, I do really think. I think it's really really cool. And here is the designs one. Uh, the details once more. About four more things to go. Four more gifts. We have Poppy from Trolls. Now I have both of the Trolls Trolls characters. And the details on the back. Oh, I like how there's a rainbow like vibe to it. Next up, we have this. We have the this is a monster truck. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Monster Truck Maker. I think this is really cool. You'll be able to put Hot Wheels cars on top of the monster truck. Well, the ones that are able to like reach these clips to, that'll attach the wheels to it. I think that's really, really nice. This is a purple and orange theme right here on the back. I actually have to get that red and blue one. That's the typical color for Hot Wheels. It's a little bit hard to find right now, but I'll get that one eventually. But right now, this will do the job. I have to go over the names of the cars again, just so it'll. I'll try to remember what the truck's name will be. We're just, you know, making it up wise if I use this in the science series. But yeah, we have the Toy Maker, Hot Wheels Monster Truck Maker, so really, really, really nice. And now, the second to last. These are the best ones I got yet. So these are post-Christmas gifts, but here's one of them. Bad Habit. Now granted, I actually already do have a bad habit right there on the pile, but that one's gonna be for opening. This one, as you see right here, I ordered this from Joe Sylvester's website and he signed it. Now granted, you know, I thought he was gonna, you know, put the gold signature on it. He does sign with gold occasionally, but he signed with black, but I'm okay with it because you could see that you could very much see it's very well it, you're able to make out that that's Joel Sylvester's signature. So this one I'm gonna keep in box and when I get my plastic cases, I'm gonna put them in and hang them up on the wall. And thankfully the package is in good condition, so no dents or anything. So we have an autographed bad habit. And last but not least, we have the 2016 convention exclusive limited edition Ladybug and Cat Noir action figures packaged brand new. You can see how, I'm gonna turn the screen off for a moment. You go, oh, you could still like see reflections in there or something, but you could see right here, if the camera can focus, that would be good too. Ah, uh, it's probably not gonna focus that well. Oh, well, there it goes. You can see how shiny Ladybug's attire is. Very shiny, kind of like spandex, shiny spandex. And here we have Cat Noirs. Um, it's a little hard to make out, but basically it's it's a little bit more, Cat Noirs outfit's just a little bit more polished. Like, it's still like plain black, but it can get a little bit of a shine to it. But, and... You can also see that the yo-yo is kind of like a transparent pink. And so is this like key of some sorts, candy, apple, whatever it is. The baton, and that's actually also the... That's also actually the baton that you can hold and use as a phone. 
So this is over $100, about $150. You can still get a limited amount of these from the Zag store. So this one, I'm going to be keeping in the box, getting it signed from Christina V, Price Baton Brook, and so on with the other characters um, when I go to meet them again at some point. So, and then you can just close it just like that. And what I will be doing with this, once it's all signed, I got all the characters I'm able to put on there. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a case of some sorts, a display case, and have it held open just like that, so we can see it like 360 wise, and you know you can see open and so on. Take it out occasionally just to look at it, and then that's that. And then just let the value go up and up and up. And here's is also what's on the back. Both Marinette and Adrian have a secret. They are the dynamic duo, Ladybug and Cat Noir, facing off against the evil new they fa <laughs> facing off against the evil villain Hawk Moth and his onslaught of transformed baddies. Can they balance the demands of a normal teen life with their superhero responsibilities while saving the beautiful city of Paris? The world is counting on it. That's what it says on the back. But anyways, guys, that's just about it. Those are my post Christmas gifts that I bought with the Christmas money, and um. That's my first video of 2024, and I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, leave a like down below, leave a comment, share, subscribe, and that's that. Happy New Year, guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys very soon.